Here's an update for the PowerPID motor controller. As you can see by the circuit board color, this is a new revision. And as you can see by the jumpers, I will need at least one more revision. But a lot of stuff is working already. In fact, it's almost all working. I have a display here that updates uh, roughly twice a second. And I think I'll increase the update rate uh, a little bit. But um, the actual data processing in this chip is uh, much more tight. What I have uh, worked on most recently is the connection from this header here to this Raspberry Pi Zero. I'm using this so that I can drive HDMI displays. So I've got a mini HDMI display here, but this could uh, just as well be a 50 inch TV somewhere. And at the moment I have a uh, potentiometer here that will determine how high of an RPM I want from a motor that is here on the left hand side. This is a vacuum cleaner motor. And all I did is I connected a photodiode right in front of the motor shaft and put a white mark onto the motor shaft. And this way I can determine the RPMs of the motor. The way this works is that the Raspberry Pi launches Chromium and the latest version of the Chromium browser have the ability to access the serial port. And that makes it very easy to make a graphical user interface for serial port data. The update rate that we are getting here is not good enough for my taste yet, though for diagnostic purposes, maybe for some things this is good enough. Uh, I will have to go and see if I can improve this for the Raspberry Pi. Uh, if not, then maybe a newer version of the Raspberry Pi uh, is indicated. Another thing that is very nice about this setup is that I can take this serial connection into a standard RS-232 to USB converter and uh, then display it on any old computer that has drivers for that converter. So this is a Linux box, but most Windows versions also have drivers for this. This very same serial adapter can be used via a USB to go adapter uh, with an Android telephone. And so the telephone can be used as a display. At this moment, the Chrome that is installed on these Android phones does not access the serial port. Um, so I have the option of trying to figure out what is wrong with that or write an Android application to display the data.